Awareness is only the basic thing that we cannot, the awareness is the cause of everything. From awareness alone, the consciousness comes. And the consciousness is only part. The awareness is the total. The awareness is Atman, the awareness is the Brahman. So everything is the, but we cannot aware of the awareness. Uh, that is the whole, awareness is whole. And from that, the consciousness comes. So we can feel only the consciousness. Yes. Can we say the awareness equal to Mananasa state? So Manana, we cannot, uh, Mananasa is related to the consciousness. Okay. We cannot have any definition, any uh, dealings with uh, the awareness. We can infer something may be there, we can like this, we can say like this. For example, when we see some smoke, naturally there must be some fire behind the smoke. To that extent, but it's a, it's a reliable inference. That, uh, to that extent we can infer awareness may be there behind the consciousness. But everything is, what we are dealing is only consciousness. Enlightenment, liberation, everything is related to the consciousness and not related to the awareness. One question here. Where the thought originates? I mean, some of the masters have asking to meditate on the source of the thought, from where it is coming. So that is the yoga process. When you so you have to select some something. So we have some select some point to focus. For that they ask the thing like that. Otherwise, need not do you need not do where from it comes like that. You need not examine like that. You know that comes. We can simply say it comes from the our mind. Comes from our brain. That that is enough. You need not worry about why. You need not expect any more thing from that. So only after the thought comes, how to handle it is in our hands. Yeah. yeah. That is the thing which we yeah. Yeah. have in our hands. Whenever we thought comes. Then only we recognize thought. thought. Before the arrival of thought, we know what is the reason for thought, how away from it comes. We can simply guess it comes from our mind, comes from our brain, that alone we can totally say like this. But at the same time, we can say uh, only because of some focusing of attention. That means if you watch the thought and if you watch the gap between thoughts, so that you can focus your attention. So for the, as a focusing point in the yogi process, you, you may take like this. Swamiji, with the... Um, when you go from having a thought, which is unchosen, to thinking, um, some thoughts are very powerful or create a strong reaction. Um, with grief, for example, um, that can go on for years, and uh, I would fear the thought coming in because I knew that would be two or three hours gone on thinking uh, every day for two years. And the fear would make the situation worse. So, if you are caught in that loop where you're thinking, it makes it stronger, more thinking makes it stronger. If you are thinking, how do you allow that to be in the flow? You just say, oh, I'm thinking about it. And you recognize that. Uh, even if it continues, That feels like something to do, where I've got to keep myself separate from the thinking. Uh, the only alternative is to think. So, is, in, in that situation, if you are thinking, do we not need to do something in that case? So here, hmm. even though we take in the form we take our thought into thinking, we convert our thought into thinking. Uh, what will happen? For example, the same thing, for example, the material object. For example, we take the example of the material object again. 
I place the recorder here. Mm. And if we place the recorder here, it will be there forever. Mm. Unless it, it was taken by somebody else. So some physical action is necessary for the removal of this recorder from here. Mm. Otherwise it will be there always. Mm. But it is not the case if it is related to the psychological world. Mm. In the psychological world, uh, whether it is created unconscious, whether it is happened unconsciously as thought, mm. or we are creating the thought through our thinking, mm. so the result is thought. So the created, uh, something happens unconsciously, mm. so something happens through your create, creation, through un, uh, conscious creation, that, just like thinking. So you are thinking also, you are creating some thought. Mm. But under some thought happens unconsciously. So both are thoughts. Even though you are creating some thought through conscious effort through your thinking, mm. through thinking also you are creating some thoughts. But even though you are creating, it also disappears. But here, when you are creating thoughts, you are in an in, you are in one, you are you are in a position to create more and more. Mm. So that is the problem. Yeah, it's a cycle. But here, when you give, when you take everything as thought itself, and you are not taking any responsibility, positively or negatively, then you are not in a position to deal with anything. So you, so you have, you do not take any responsibility on your hand. So here, what something may happen against your will, against your interest. Mm -hmm. But you, when you select to safeguard yourself. Then you consciously take some stand, take some responsibility. Mm -hmm. So, taking no responsibility alone is the salvation. So, taking the responsibility is the problem. Here also, doing the conscious <coughs> thinking also, you are taking some responsibility. Mm -hmm. Without your interest, anyhow you are taking some responsibility to create something. Even though it may be the negative feeling, mm -hmm. you are doing it. So you are creating some responsibility. But here also, when you want to be free from that, you are consciously taking another responsibility. So, so the wrong thing and right thing is happening only through some taking some responsibility. So here, when we understand no responsibility is needed for freedom, that means freedom from responsibility is the freedom. So just to be clear, when I'm uh, when I become aware mm. that I am already taking responsibility mm. and thinking. So here, when you take, when you uh, seek the uh, seek the shelter of awareness, that means it is a yogic process. When you are aware of something happening, mm. uh, for example, when you are aware of something, nat naturally you may have some settlement within yourself. Mm -hmm. Some time being, you may be all right from the pro problem itself. Mm -hmm. It is a yogic process. In yogic process, the meditation process, you may observe the pain of yourself. The observing the pain mm -hmm. itself reduce the pain itself. Some problems, some possibilities. May yes, be I, no, I don't mean a, a yogic process. Yeah, process. It's, it's more, um, mm -hmm. I suddenly realize, mm -hmm. oh, I'm thinking about this. Mm -hmm. I've taken responsibility. Mm -hmm. um, do I just let it continue? So here... How do I not take responsibility? So here you have to accept your failure. The intellect has to accept its failure in the psychological world. So, as early as possible, we have to accept our failure. But do you, we should not expect any success there. The expecting success alone is the problem. Uh, I, I have... But in the external world, the success must be the goal. But in the psychological world, the failure alone must be the goal. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of experience in that. I'll just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to just check in with you. <laughs> Before I said it, I feel I've been free from suffering for 20 years, and I still believe that. And probably seven or eight nights out of ten, 
I'm either dreaming or thinking probably 80% of the time I'm in bed. And uh, dreaming's fine, I can't do anything about that. And the, so, and the thoughts that I think are very, I mean, if, if I'm in a very tight situation, that's what will occupy my thoughts. But like last night, there, have I switched the gas off? Have I done the electricity? What do I need to buy tomorrow? Have I washed this? They're the kind of thoughts that are just constantly catching me, not just passing. I, have I done the thing? Oh yes, I must do that. And I, I start thinking. But the reason, and, and what's happened over the years is I've just let it happen. You know, if I don't, I'm in a situation where I don't have to get up and go to work, that helps. <laughs> because I don't get a lot of sleep. But I just let it keep happening. I, I just have accepted somewhere in me that there's nothing I can do about that. You know, I don't want to take pills, I don't want to take drugs, I don't want to, I don't want to do meditation, I'm incredibly lazy. <laughs> I don't want to sit up and I just lie there and the thoughts go through and I and I get attached to them and I think about them for several minutes. Then I notice that I've been thinking about them for several minutes. Oh, and another hour's gone. I look at the clock, it's two o'clock, then it's three o'clock, then it's... Is, is that... Do you feel comfortable with what I'm saying? I mean, it works for me, but does that sit in, in alignment with, with what you're teaching? Question. <laughs> I am, I am going to follow the exact question. He um, goes to bed mm. at night mm. and thoughts start coming. Mm. Did I switch off the gas? Did I put off the electricity? And with that, he gets involved with the thought, mm. thinking. Mm. Thinking starts. Mm. And anxiety comes with it. So he's not able to sleep. Mm. It, basically, he gets involved with the thought mm. and sleep does not come. So he looks at 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. Some thought or the other is coming continuously, occupying him, grabbing him, and then the next one will come, and the next one will come. He's not able to sleep. So how does he address this issue? Well, I'm not saying that. Yeah, I'm saying I'm okay with that. Yeah. He's okay with that. Yeah. So here, so whenever the first thought comes, when you, when you take the thought in your hand, then you are uh, traveling with the thought. Mm -hmm. So you that means you convert the thought into thinking. Yeah. So thinking is necessary if it is related to the external world. Mm -hmm. So you can make use of the thought. Uh, but for but to, but at the same time you should not think to clear uh, keep you without any thought. That you need not convert the mm -hmm. thinking uh, that thing in I should not have any thought. That it is against you. Yeah. But at the same time you can make use of the thought. So the thought comes to remind you whether you put off the stove or anything. So, it, so some, sometimes it may be help you. Mm -hmm. So you can use the thought for if it is external use, you can make use of it. But if you are unnecessarily coming like this, you need not uh, look at that. Mm -hmm. You have to give total freedom. It may come like this and you, you have no business to uh, heed your attention to that. Then it will go away very soon. But afterwards, if you take some, uh, sometimes, and you will, uh, you will create some because you get repeatedly thinking like that or anything, then you will uh, some the, the sleeping mood will be out. Mm -hmm. You will go out of the sleeping mood. Mm -hmm. So the, then afterwards, then you will have the thought: No sleep is coming. <laughs> I am without sleep. Mm -hmm. This thought will go away. Mm -hmm. But even this thought is also coming. You need not worry about that thought also. Yeah. So whatever the thought, so we have to be without any making it to the thinking. So if we keep the total thought as we take the take the its own course, if it uh, comes on its own, it will disappear on its own. But we should not take any part in that. Means I have given an example. Means, uh, mm -hmm. means we are walking in that field in that path. We may, the thought will come, there may be a snake will be there, I will put my leg on the snake. The thought is helpful. So you have a torch in your bag, you open the bag, you take the torch and with the torch you are walking. Still the thought is coming. If the snake comes, what do you do? If the snake comes, what do you do? 
the first two thoughts came is help to take the torch out. Subsequent thoughts, subsequent thoughts, you can we can simply ignore it. Mm-hmm. What do we do with that? We can't convert. We have already converted the torch we are thinking and we have taken the torch in our hand. Because again, subsequent thoughts, you can just, just ignore it. Yes, it's coming. It makes us to help us to be more aware of each uh, step we put. For that, at least we can use those those thoughts whichever is coming. Yeah, but uh, it, the thinking is also can happen subconsciously. Like you describe the woman that her child dies, she cannot help by thinking that uh, about this, like you said. <coughs> so it's happened subconsciously. It's not she's trying to think about it. It just happens. So and she can do it probably for all of her <coughs> life, still thinking about the death of her child. So here, the, the thought comes naturally, but when we want to be free from thought, then only they came to be. They want the, they, they are suffering from the thought. So then only they came to be. I want to be free from the thought. But uh, they, they, they have the thought, at the same one time they justify the thought, the other time they want to be free from thought. They take the both steps. So then only the, thereby they convert the thought into thinking. If they allow the thought means there will be there will be no question about the thought. So it is happening. If you take the thought as a happening, then we are not converting the thought into thinking. When it is purely thought, naturally it will go away. So whenever it is, we take in the state of thinking, when our conscious participation is there, the conscious participation strengthens the thought. Otherwise, the thought will be. Even though it, the, the thought may be repeated one, in the course of time it will be very low and in one time it will be disappear totally. But uh, very rarely it may come. So it is, sounds like an advanced stage. Sounds like? It sounds like somebody in advanced stage can do this. Advanced stage. Advanced stage. Advanced stage. Only it someone in advanced stage. stage can do it. Yeah, because for example with the mother with her child, to say it's just thoughts coming to my head, it sounds very advanced. Adverse. 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 Master. Like, like advanced, she, not adverse. She, 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 only someone who is very advanced can say, oh, I've lost my child, that's another thought. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, right. <laughs> to treat it like that yeah, is an advanced thing. It's not how, easy to do. How can she not think about it? She should be some kind of really high yes. level to say it's just a thought. My child has died. No, no, so I am not, uh, I'm not uh, this is also a kind of thinking, so I, I should not have the thought, it is also a thinking, so I must... No, no, technique. just, just to, not to have no thought, but not to interfere, not to want to be free from the thought and not to choose it, like you said, not to take any stand. So here, I am, what I am trying to say is that, accept the sorrow, accept the... Yeah. Um, uh, absorb the thought because the thought creates sorrow. The absorb, uh, I am not that you should not be without sorrow. It is natural. We take it as a natural one. We, uh, when we take it as a natural, then there is no part of ourselves to <coughs> deal with it. So, with our dealing, there should not be our dealing. It must be natural. Uh, when it is natural, the sorrow is natural, the thought is natural. Then, you, then it will very soon it will go away. So whenever we put something, uh, this must be like that, this must not be like that, then only we convert the thought into thinking. So it is not... When we attach any philosophy like this, it is also a kind of thinking. So no philosophy is necessary. This is a fact. The sorrow is a fact, the thought is a fact. We have to accept the fact as fact. But the way you said it, it sounds like it's not personal, like the thought, it's not the pain. It's not personal. But it's not personal. Not. Personal. 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 Yes. That the thought isn't personal, the person. pain isn't person. They're personal. They're not personal. It, 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 but it, it is personal. It is personal, but it is, disappears. Even though it is personal, it comes and disappears. So that is the nature of everything. 
because you spoke about the me. So somebody says like it happened to me. Mm -hmm. My child is died. Happened to me. Mm -hmm. So it's it becomes personal. No, it personal be. sorrow, personal faults, personal, personal pain. Yeah. But when you say it's like when you don't want to be free, when you don't want to be free from it, and you don't want to choose it to be guilty, then it sounds like it's not uh, personal. You just said it's personal. Yeah, but still, it sounds to me like it's not personal. Like it happens, it happens to the person. No, you're saying it's grief. If, thing, if, 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 if one is in grief, to be in grief and to allow the grief, to, to give freedom to the grieving process. He's not saying it's... Yeah. So actually, everything gets released on itself. We yeah. have no necessity for, uh, for any freedom. We, we need not create freedom. We need not create relief. So all pain gets and releases itself. So that is a natural thing. So whenever we put our hand in the form of anything, uh, even to get freedom from pain itself, is the encouraging moment of the pain. So here, if you attach any philosophy, it, it, by itself we are giving some strength to the problem. <coughs> but so in I reality, most people that are not doing this kind of things, just ordinary people, and they lost their child or the husband or the wife this this with this probably most of their life, if not all of their life. Yeah. But they would not be bothered about this inquiry, so the, it's a theoretical question which does yes. not apply to their case. But with this understanding, it will give a relief. Only this understanding will give a relief. That I is no need to pull it is naturally it is work. Because he said the woman came to him and it's I don't know. So, Ayla, what, what did you say to that woman mm, in, that, in that example, mm. to the woman with the grief? So the, here, what was your advice? What did you actually tell her? So here, the thought, we should not take the thought as problem. When you take the thought as problem, we convert the thought into thinking. Mm -hmm. The thing you, you, the conversion of thinking is alone is the problem. So, each and every moment, we are, even though we are uh, thinking, you are, you are, uh, even though we are not thought, you would think we, because of our justification, I have to, the sorrow is correct. Because as a parent, this must be, uh, the parent must be in sorrow. So we justify the justification and criticism in what way, if you criticize your thought or appreciate your thought in both way, thereby you are strengthened the thought by way of thinking. So we have no action. We have to take it as a natural one. So here we have to understand no work is there. The main thing is that we should not have any work there. That is the understanding. Yeah. I think the root, uh, in what I think both people are saying is that if I hear a story of somebody who has suffered a great loss, a um, mother loses her a child or a husband loses a wife or a brother loses a sister, there is empathy. Mm. I feel it in my. I feel that pain in my heart. So uh, I think that's that's where the question is coming from. Which is, yes, I can say all this. I can say allow. I think grief is natural, but there is that pain is an overwhelming pain. It is a massive pain uh, to the extent, as he said, as Will was saying, I fear the thought that it will come again. It has come, <laughs> and it comes two hours, three hours goes. After two weeks, four weeks, six weeks, six months. The pain is still there, the thought is still there, and I now have fear that this thought will come. So I'm functioning normally. At 10 o'clock I go to work, and at 12 o'clock something reminds me <coughs> of the grief, and then the grief comes back like a wave. So how does one... Yes, I understand. Theoretically I understand this is a thought I shouldn't involve. But how does one overcome a grief of this kind, of this magnitude? How does one um, accept it? How does one, you can't accept it, your body is not accepting it. The body is going on saying, but why? How can this happen? How could I lose my child? It's, it's terrible. And it goes on, it doesn't stop. How does one accept pain of this magnitude? So here, our advice is that give total freedom to the grief. Give total freedom to the sorrow. Total freedom to the thought. That's all. But so I sometimes I think, grief of that kind, you may think you're going mad. 
I think somebody's so mind may break. But we think like that. <laughs> that, is our, like that. that is our thinking. But in the, the, that is not real. We have to, we have to test it. For example, mm. one case, uh, for example, one lady, he has uh, the pain, not this kind of, some another kind. She had some love affair with one person. And uh, he assured that he will marry her. But instead of uh, marrying her, he married some other person. So that is why he feels uh, some sorrow because uh, he was he feels cheated. But at the same time, she has no uh, legal remedy. If they have already married, the second marriage <coughs> we can be rectified through legal uh, proceedings. That is, he had no legal uh, uh, status. So uh, just he had love affair that alone is he had. And she was cheated and she felt, I am unable to do anything, I am all in still, I, am, I was in still complete agony, I am totally upset, I am terribly in agony state, what I have to do, she asked me. So he simply told me, whoever in that position like you will have the same feeling like you. <laughs> Don't take it as a strange one. As if you are the special person, you are facing the problem. Whoever you are in the same position, this uh, fear, this uh, agony will come to you like this. So here, if you have any legal position, legal status to uh, deal with your uh, the, cheat, the person who has cheated you, then you can go, you can think like that. But there is no necessity to uh, think for anything to take action. But there is no necessity for your thinking. So you have to totally, wholeheartedly accept your pain. So whoever will be in that position, they will be like this. So, so I don't know how he accepted my words. But he was in the terrible state. But the next day morning he phoned me. Today, I am, I am in bliss consciousness. I don't know why the bliss consciousness came to me. Yesterday I was terribly in the uh, sorrow, but today morning I am in the bliss consciousness, I am very happy. I don't know why this happiness comes to me. But uh, I simply told, because you are wholeheartedly absorbed your grief, the next moment you will, you will be free from that, then the, the other side you will be facing. But you don't mind, as you don't mind your sorrow, don't mind your bliss consciousness. <laughs> So in the similar case, one case uh, in Chennai, <coughs> in the similar case, just like the uh, case of the death of the ch child, the, this is a mother and the, the boy, in the older case also, the one and a half years child, but this case is a, is a grown-up person. This, uh, his boy, his, uh, his son is a grown-up person. If the grown-up person died and the mother, as to, but he, after a later time, he consulted uh, one of my part partners of the workers that he has got relief from the sorrow of the death of his uh, son. And uh, the person who is, uh, got the message, we have, we are running some magazine and written the same. And the, the, the mother got relief from the grief of the death of the son within one week, even though it is very terrible. You know, she got relief within one week, uh, even though it is very terrible, because it is very terrible instant. And even the, it is a, the instant is very terrible, he got the relief only because of the, some, this kind of idea, she got relief very soon. So this was uh, published in the in our magazine, and the mother uh, read the magazine, and she again ringed the uh, person who is in charge of the magazine. I have not relieved the relief from one week. I have actually relieved within one hour. <laughs> <laughs> but that is the real fact. I have relieved the problem within one hour. And they, you have exaggerated as if uh, lived from within one week. 
that is the case. So let us assemble in the evening, mm. and that is the last session. Four o'clock. Four o'clock. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yes, sir.